Okay. Welcome okay. YouTube. This is the Velvet Locks with another Cook It Up edition. Today in the kitchen, I'm going to be making my signature curry shrimp and crab meat dish. All right. So it's a wonderful, delicious, spicy dish that you can make with curry. All right. So let's start the cooking. All right, you guys. So we're going to start off with one humongous bell pepper, green bell pepper. And we're going to slice this, uh, chop this up, cut out all the little parts inside that we don't need. And then also we're going to use one red bell pepper. I couldn't find a jumbo size, so I had to settle for this one. And what I usually like to do is I like to use different color bell peppers to give the food some nice uh, color. It's going to look really pretty with the added color. Alright, so I'm just chopping out all the little veins inside of this pepper before I start. And this is a very healthy dish, especially for those of you on your weight journey and you wonder what, you know, what to eat. And you, you guys, this is a really nice Caribbean dish. I grew up on this dish right here. It was one of my favorites. My mom always made, well not always, special occasions actually, and we loved it. So you know I had to learn how to make it. All right, so we got all of our bell peppers in our bowl, and now I'm gonna chop up two regular sized onions. We just need a slow emotion. Don't give that away to no one. Long distance, I need you. When I see Next, we're gonna wash and chop up, or not really chop up, but we're gonna wash a couple of sprigs of fine. And this gives the food a very nice flavor. So we're just gonna throw that on top of that bowl. Next, I'm gonna cut a piece of scotch bonnet pepper. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a piece. I don't know if I should put that much. Just maybe half, a little quarter piece, because scotch bonnet is very hot, and shrimps absorb that heat very fast. All right, so we're just gonna put a piece of that in there. In the meantime, I have my water on the stove boiling, and in that water, I'm going to be boiling some plantains, and these are nice ripe plantains. So I'm gonna slice them in half, Okay, now that water is almost ready, it's almost boiling, so I'm just going to slice them in half like that with the skin on. So we're going to wait for that to finish boiling. And in the meantime, we're going to heat up our pan on the stove to start preparing the pot. Now, I'm going to also serve some brown rice with this. And today I'm going to use the Chef Way brown rice. Okay. And being that this is one of our favorite dishes, I think I'm going to do one and a half to two packs in, in my pot. Okay, so I'm putting my brown rice on the stove. And I'm going to start that up too. Now, in that water, I'm also going to put some of my coconut oil so this way the rice is nice and fluffy and not stiff. So I'm just going to put a tablespoon of coconut oil in my water. All right, so we're starting our pan right here. Okay. And we're going to put some oil in there, some um, avocado oil. Dab a little of that in there. And we're going to wait for our pan to get nice and hot. Not too hot, but hot enough. Now we're just going to toss all of what we cut, what we chopped up in our pan. And we're going to saute this. Smells so good already. And you pretty 
much just throwing like this sprig of um, thyme. So this way, it, you don't chop it up, so you don't have a lot of little pieces in there. So we're just gonna let this saute down, and then we'll come back. Okay, YouTube, so I'm back. Now, my pot in the back, where I'm boiling my water for my plantains, is boiling now, so I'm gonna just start dropping them in. Be careful, you don't wanna splash that boiling water on you. All right, now we got our plantains on, we got our rice on, and we have our peppers and onions sauteing in the pot. And they're pretty much tender now, so we're gonna move on. Okay. Next, we're gonna add in some curry powder, Jamaican curry powder. Now, I'm not one for measuring, I'm used to winging it, but you curry, you add your curry to taste. And in this part, you can either add regular water or with, uh, what I usually do and what my mom did was add milk. You can add cream if you want, it's up to you, but I want a more healthier version. So I'm gonna add my vanilla almond milk. And you won't even taste the vanilla, so don't worry. And you put like maybe about a half a cup of almond milk in there. And it makes the, it gives the gravy a nicer flavor. Okay. Next, you're gonna flavor your, your gravy, your mixture right here. And I'm gonna add some black pepper, some ground black pepper. And with this, you could either put like about a teaspoon of black pepper. Depends on the size portion that you're making. And then I'm just gonna add in some all-purpose seasoned salt. And you could probably, you know, just a couple of sprinkles or maybe about a teaspoon as well. It's up to you. Depends on your portion. Okay. And once you season it, you can taste it and see if that's enough or if you may need to add a little something extra. That's good. Now at this point, you can probably turn your pot down. Okay. Now, what I did was, I've already bought and washed um, some jumbo shrimps. So I have about three pounds of jumbo shrimps right here. And I'm just gonna pour that inside on top of our mixture. And this is a really quick dish. It doesn't take a lot of time to make. All right. And if you need to add a little water in there, that's okay too. Or a little more milk, that's okay too. I'm just gonna mix that in, get it all in the shrimps. Stirring all of that nice flavor. Lastly, I'm going to put in a, a, a tub, a nice container of lump crab meat. Okay, and this is all just crab meat. No shells, no nothing. And we're gonna just throw that in there on top of our shrimp mixture. Smells really good. And you can even buy these uh, type of crab meats, the, the lump, if you wanna make some crab cakes. They make great crab cakes.
Okay, we're gonna add in a little water and then simmer. All right, stir that in. And like I said, you can flavor this to taste. So if you want it extra spicier, you can do that. But don't over spice it because the shrimps will absorb that flavor really fast. And then you won't really be able to enjoy it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just stir this up a little bit. And then turn the flame down to a nice slow flame, a low flame, and then cover it and let it just simmer for about a good maybe five minutes and then check on it afterwards. Okay, in the meantime, just checking on my rice and my plantains. And it's a very simple dish, you guys. Normally I would have some lettuce on the side. Didn't do that today. <laughs> All right, and I'll come back, show you the finishing product. Oh. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do now, usually what happens is your gravy might get a little loose, so you can thicken it up with some uh, cornstarch or with a little flour and water. and it makes a nice gravy. And then you're done. Okay. And there you have it. So we're just gonna wait for our rice now. And there we have it. All right, YouTube, so there we go. This wonderful, delicious curry shrimp and crab meat meal. Very good, delicious, healthy Jamaican dish that you can create for yourself. And it's good for you, all right? So thank you so much for joining me on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. All right, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.